Ladies, gentlemen, those in between and beyond, my first ever newsletter is here. I'll admit, when I resolved to write a newsletter back in January 2020, I vowed to make it the best newsletter ever, and near perfection takes time, you know. Seeing as everyone else was looking back at the last decade, and not just the last year, I was going to follow suit, and list three highlights in reverse order. I was then going to be super clever and outline my 2020 vision by listing the next three things to come in ascending order. You get the picture. Then, to end the greatest newsletter ever, I would probably have made some rather saccharine remark about the goddesses of fate themselves guiding me by the hand in 2020 and beyond. Well, to the fates, I say this. This is not quite what one had in mind. In January, I was invited, complete with a hefty bursary, to the Lunenberg Academy of Music Performance in Canada to study at their Bass Clarinet Academy with Dr. Sarah Watts. The latter is a pioneer in the field of contemporary performance and multiphonics on the instrument. So imagine my delight when I was then invited by Sarah herself to stay on for another week to facilitate their Composition Academy. To say I was excited was an understatement. I was being given the perfect opportunity to develop some ideas I had for a one-woman storytelling project I'm working on. This is without mentioning the fact that, by all accounts, Lunenburg, Nova Scotia is a stunning part of the world. Aside from this opportunity, on February the 8th, I performed one of the most challenging pieces of music I have ever known. Jonathan Russell's Concerto of the Bass Clarinet and Orchestra with Leicestershire Symphonia. This was absolutely incredible and a truly affirming experience. I'd go so far as to say it was also in the nick of time. Those memories served as a kind of talisman during a time where our world had changed beyond recognition. Suffice it to say, my career is now looking outwardly very different from what I had imagined it to be. First of all, long-haul flights anywhere were, and still are, a very bad idea, and the bass clarinet course itself was sadly cancelled. And believe it or not, it has taken until a couple of weeks ago to claw back the money I paid for the flights, money that was also awarded to me by Help Musicians UK for my training. Slowly, I acknowledged who I was and got to grips with my mental health status and my response to everything that was happening. When I felt ready, I got in touch with another bass clarinetist, Heather Roche, and I had my first proper lesson in about half a decade. Heather's approach was so right for me that I'm truly looking forward to making my own music, as well as playing some of the existing repertoire for clarinet and bass clarinet. I'm still developing my storytelling concept with two stories, Much the Cat, and a reworking of the old favourite, The Ugly Duckling. I'm also looking for funding to purchase better equipment to help me adapt these ideas for a more remote life here on YouTube. Despite the sadness and incredulity I feel about how things have turned out this year, I've actually felt ready to write, play and just create for the first time in years. So much so that I feel I could hit the ground running when we eventually can go out into the world. And if I can get through a year with Covid snapping at my heels, I think I can get through anything. On that note, I just wanted to say that I truly believe we will all see one another again sometime soon. When we do, let's sing, dance and make music like there's no tomorrow, shall we? In the meantime, be safe and be good to those around you. Kariat Maur, Katniss. <laughs>